Hey guys, so today in uh, our probability unit, this is still probability, considered probability, we're going to talk about combinations, and that means the different ways that we can put things in order. Let's say that in our class of um, 20 students, I want to elect one president and one vice president. So they want to know how many different ways can I choose them? Okay, so we have uh, some combination notation here. I have 20 students. I want a combination of only two of them, right? So 20C2 means I have 20 things. I want a combination of only two of them. Well, how many choices do I have when I pick from the president? I have 20 choices of students, correct? And then I pull that one student, so now when I pick my vice president, I only have a choice of 19 different students. So if we actually multiply our choices together, 20 times 19, which would be 380, I believe, means that from 20 students, there are 380 different combinations that I have to choose from. It sounds like a lot, but if you, if you really stopped and worked out how many kids there are, how many choices you have for each, you'd find out that there are indeed 380. Let's um, think about going to the cafeteria for lunch. Let's say we are going for lunch. And how many lunch choices do we have? How many um, combinations, how many different combinations of lunches are there? Okay, so when you choose your main dish, there's usually, um, let's say that you can either choose pizza or a sandwich for your for your main course for your main course you can choose pizza or a sandwich and then you get to choose either french fries or um, mashed potatoes how's that and then for the next section you get to choose a fruit you either get to choose an apple a pear or an orange. Then for drinks, you get to choose between chocolate milk, regular milk, 2%. We'll pretend those are the only choices, okay? So I have two choices here, two choices here, three here, and three here. So two times two times three times three. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, times 3 again is 36. So if I had just these choices, how many different lunch combinations could I make? I could make 36 different lunch combinations. So it's all about the number of choices that you have. Let's think about um, choosing from a group again. Let's say this time I have um, 18 students in my class. I need to choose five to be class representatives.
Oh, let me get that in the camera. I have 18 students, but I'm going to choose only five to be our class representatives. So how many students do I have to choose from? Well, I have 18, and I'm going to choose five of them. This is the notation that you might see. Okay, it means that you start at the number 18 and you work your way down five choices. One, two, three. I have 18 choices for my first person, then 17, then 16, then 15, and then 14 choices. And that's going to be a humongous number. Um, I'll let you work that out on your own. Okay, but what if... What if I said I have six students One of the favorite questions there is that they ask is how many different ways can I line them up Well, I have six students. I'm going to choose all six of them. When you're choosing an entire group, you can write six with an exclamation after it. This is called six factorial. When you see an exclamation point, it's called factorial. It means that I'm going to start at the number 6 and I'm going to go all the way down to the number 1 and multiply all those numbers. Because I have 6 choices for my first person in line, then 5 choices, then 4, then 3, then 2, and then 1. And you can use a calculator to work that out. We're going to get um, 30 times 4 is 120. 120 times 3 is 360, 360 times 2 is actually 720. doesn't seem like it, but there really are 720 different ways that I can line up students at the door, okay? If I'm choosing from six students. Why don't you go ahead and give the problems a shot now that I've listed on Schoology.